What's going on YouTube? If you're new to the channel, I want you to definitely take a look around at my content. And once you figure out that this is the place that you want to be, I want you to do all three. Like, comment, and subscribe. For those of you who are returning, welcome back Uncommon Sense fam. It's your man's Uncommon Sense here. And today's video is a tag challenge. A man over at Pinoy Key we sent tagged us in a challenge just called Bring, oh, bring out, out the, the Blue. 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 If you guys don't know, you're gonna learn. You're gonna learn today. Blue is my favorite color. Royal blue, specifically. But blue is the nickname of mine. Blue is in the name on my Facebook, DeAndre Royal Blue. You can check me out on Facebook if you guys have not already friended me. Definitely go ahead and do so. It's all about the color blue today. But what I'm gonna do today, guys, is share with you some fragrances from my collection since my favorite color is blue. I seem to have collected and amassed a great deal of blue fragrance whether they're blue and juice color blue in accord blue and feel blue smelling aquatic come on mama gotta stay hydrated this is hot <sighs> y'all know what time it is this is what y'all came here for we about to get into this thing let's go Big shout out and ups to my man, Pinoy Kiwi sent, who's tagged us in this challenge today. Big ups to you, brother. I really appreciate you tagging and including me in this challenge. You're gonna find a little bit of everything in this tag video. We got some designers, we got some cheapies. Hopefully you discover uncommon scent. Most of all, I want you guys to sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy. The first fragrance we're gonna feature today is Aqua Quorum. Get a little spray real quick. Very sporty, fresh, aquatic fragrance. Kind of smells like a summer day. If you guys haven't tried it, I think it's worth a try. This is a newer addition to the Uncommon Sense fam. I had saw the original quorum in discounters and didn't pick it up. So I owed it to myself to go ahead and give this one a try. And I'm glad I did because it actually reminds me of Polo Sport. Next up, John Bravado's Artisan Blue. I love this bottle. The fragrance too. It's aquatic, it's watery but it's fresh. That's what I like. Those are some of the things that describe me as a fragrance wearer. Clean, fresh, sexy. I believe this one has a kind of like cucumber accord, if I'm not mistaken. This smells absolutely amazing and I feel like it's a banger for summer. This one actually also made my reason for the season video for summer. Put a nice little dent in the juice of this one. Next up, Balmain on. Love this bottle, love all the details love that big heavy flacon this one is a beast in performance it's sweet it's more so for winter technically but you guys know me i do what i want when i want smell how i want so it bears a little bit of resemblance to my nose to mont blanc emblem i did a review of that one as well this one also makes my heavy hitters or beast mode fragrances list it's sweet leathery a little boozy, but it's something aquatic about it. It's something very fresh and blue. If you guys have not checked this one out, I think you should. This one gets a lot of hate on Fragantica. A lot of people say it's a cloying, sugary, syrupy mess. I just don't agree with that. But again, I'm uncommon sense, so I'm gonna have some uncommon opinions when it comes to certain fragrances. Next up, now Cesar Rodriguez for him, Blue Noir. Love this fragrance. Vetiver, musk. The musk in this one has done exceptionally well. The citrus in the opening, what's not to like about this one? This is not a monster performer, but the way that it smells on my skin, how close it sits, it's just perfect. This one's made a few lists, if I'm not mistaken. That's right, it made the 20 romantic fragrances list. You can check that out, leave a link for that. I love how the musk is done in this one. This one actually reminds me of Givenchy's Blue Label. 
Also, this one draws a little bit of comparison to Tear Dare Mace. I actually like this one a little bit better. The way the Vetiver and Musk play together are better for me in this one than Tear Dare Mace. It's a little more sharper on the Tear Dare Mace side. So I opted not to get a full bottle of Tear Dare Mace. But here we are with a full, big old bottle. And this is one I think you can not overspray. However, depending on the temperature outside, musk on my skin can kind of lean a little BO-ish. I just kind of limit my sprays. Next up, Bulgari Blue. It smells like luxury soap. This one also made my romantic fragrances list. It's so fresh and clean and it's light. This is one I don't think that you can overspray either. I've been in love with this one since I first smelled it when I was in my late teens slash early 20s and I just really can't get enough of this one. I recently had to cop this one again. What it does do well is it manages to get on my skin, smell great and has an allure to it. Next up, Aqua Di Gio by Giorgio Armani. Didn't want to put this one on the list, but again, I'd be lying to myself if I didn't add it. It's an aquatic, so it kind of has the blue feel, even though it's not blue juice. Aquatic, I don't need to say much about this one. You guys know what it's about, but it makes the list because it is blue in its accord and feel. Fresh, clean, can't go wrong. Speaking of clean, clean for men. This is one that doesn't get a lot of love and frag. I'm from the fellas. Clean is exactly what it says it is, clean. It's fresh, it's lemony, it's, it's perfect for fresh out the shower. This one actually made my spring bling lists. This one made my top 10 for spring. This one has made several lists. Do yourself a service, get clean, that's all I can say. And that is indeed an uncommon scent. I have a positive memory associated with cleaning. Me and my sister would often go to the streets of Woodfield, go to Sephora, smell all the fragrances, and talk about what we're gonna get on our next trip back. I'd been looking for that fragrance for the longest, and she ended up getting it for me for Christmas. Shout out to my sister, I love you, sis. Sister keeps me stocked with some of the most unique fragrances that I've ever expressed an interest in. She comes up and says, boom, here you go, bro, that's for you. Next up, Moschino's Cheap and Chic. I love love. This one draws some comparison to Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue for women. This fragrance is typically marketed toward women, but I wear it. Something a little salty slash bitter about it in the opening. Not a monster performer, not a monster projector, but what it manages to do well is keep up with that blue, aquatic, beachy feel. When you're spending a little time hanging with Uncommon Sense, hopefully you get a chance to come away with something new and fresh, no pun intended. Or is it pun intended? Who knows? Next up. We got Coach for Men EDT. A lot of people say this one doesn't perform for them. I don't have that problem. This one is sweet. That top pair note, I love it. It's aquatic. It's not necessarily blue, but that gradient, it's dark, it's fresh, sweet. It's so fresh and clean. Next up, we got CK Summer. It's a new acquisition for me. Figured, hey, why not? My sister raves about CK Summer often, but as you guys know, there are different variations depending on the year. This one came out last year. This is kind of like a first impression, so. I haven't even put the atomizer in it yet. Check it out. This one's fresh. Again, it's beachy. I don't expect a whole lot of performance out of this one. I don't think you can overspray it. It's unisex. I think any and everybody will get some enjoyment out of this. I don't know much about the performance. I like the little comic book vibe is given off some. Okay. Huh, look at that. We even got some stickers on the back. That's fun. Next up, Versace or Fresh. It comes off a little green in the beginning, but then it rolls into that blue, fresh, sexy vibe. Really dig Versace Mano Fresh. This is another one that I don't think that you can overspray. I get decent performance out of this one, decent longevity. I enjoy it. If I do end up emptying this one, I'll probably go back and get the larger one. Next up, Porsche Design, the essence. And I blew right back in my face. Running out of places to spray on my arm. I really enjoy this fragrance because it has a blueberry note. Don't have any fragrances that have a blueberry note. This is another one that I don't think that you can spray too much of. 
It's indeed a freshie. It's blue, fruity. It's fresh as an aquatic vibe. I think it's some juniper and cedar in this one. This one is so fresh and is light. I've worn it a few times. It's inoffensive. It's one you can wear to the office. I probably would wear it in the high, high heat. I think it'll kind of burn off quickly. However, warm day, not hot day. That's what I think works best for this one. I think this one is very underrated. The fragrance itself smells great. The performance may not be the best, but I'm getting to that place where I don't expect every fragrance to be a beast performance. Now I do understand not wanting to waste money on fragrances that smell great, but don't perform. It is what it is for me, especially when it comes to fragrances that I enjoy. Since I enjoy this scent, I think this one's pretty dope. It wasn't that expensive either. I paid the $25. Next up, Franck Olivier's Eau de Pachon Intense. This one draws some comparison to Percival by Parfum de Marly. Fresh, it's clean. It's a little bit of citrus slash lemon or bergamot in there. The fragrance itself is really dope too. So it has a very classy, esteemed, distinguished scent. It's very aquatic, fresh blue. Top notch in my opinion. I often find myself wearing this fragrance to bed. It's a good performer too, because I've went to bed and woke up and still could smell it. Also, I've smelled it like all over my sheets as well. It's a nice bottle, dope atomizer. If you guys have not tried Franck Olivier's Eau de Passion Intense, definitely give it a try. Next up, Microcores Extreme Blue. I love this fragrance. It has a musk and melon type of vibe that I just really dig. You gotta find an empty spot. Get a little bit of that on. <laughs> this one has a positive memory association with me as well. I wore it to a luau. It withstood all of the heat, dancing, drinking, eating, everything that I threw at it for a warm August night. Next up. Kenzo on. This was a newer addition to the Uncommon Sense collection as well. Put it on the guns. <laughs> Dope ass bottle. Love that. It's fresh. It's clean. It's woody and aquatic at the same time. And maybe that's what's kind of throwing me off. Usually you don't get aquatic and woody all in one. As an honorable mention and a niche entry, we're going to feature Montal's Oud Lagoon. This one actually, I'm working through a sample, but I did order a full bottle. This one is like tropical. It's like floral, aquatic. It's one of my favorites from Montal that I've ever smelled. Got that fresh laundry detergent, fabric softener type of vibe. It's like summer to me. It's like a Hawaiian vacation. And who doesn't need in this vacation? Speaking of which, segueing right into it. Tommy Bahamas St. Bart's. This one is like vacation in the bottle. White sand beaches, mojitos, margaritas. Uh, I really like this one. This is one of my favorites and especially for it to be an eau de cologne. The eau de cologne of this one performs very well on my skin. A little salty, a little metallic. It's fruity. It's a little sour. Lime. But it's aquatic too. So I really dig this. Next up, Dior Sauvage. I love this fragrance. I try not to do much featuring of it because it's hyped. Everybody loves it. But I will say this. Christian Dior did it right with this one. I love it. <laughs> Can you guys guess that I love it? It's fresh. This is one that does aquatic and woody and ozonic all in one. So it's like it's got all of the elements. In addition, this atomizer. This atomizer is one of the best in the game to me. Found a spot. Running out of places to spray them. Ugh. This one has positive memories so for me as well on several different occasions. I talked about this one so much, my sister friend just went ahead and bought it for me. I was traveling one time and had been traveling a great part of the day. And when I finally got to my destination to pick up my rental car, the associate at the rental car facility, she was directing me to where I could go since I was a Gold Canopy member. She just said, you can go to the premium section, pick your car. As I was walking away, I heard her tell her associates like, damn, he smell good, girl. So again, not mad at that. Next up, Cool Water, the coolest edition. This is a newer release from the House of Cool Water. I recently featured this one in a Scent Your State Challenge that Lucas Poe issued. And I love this one. It's aquatic, but it has peppermint in it. So it's fresh, sweet, and aquatic. What's not to love? Mm. It just smells like a wave. 
It's so fresh, it's so sexy, it's so clean. And I have a huge ass bottle of it. So I spray the shit out of this one. I don't give a damn. This is another one I don't think you can overspray. Love this one. I think I maybe paid $35 for it. And for as big as this bottle is, what? What? So, I really enjoyed this fragrance. My man over at the Centurion put me on because I didn't know anything about this one. And I usually do not mess with flankers. I usually stay away from flankers. However, this is, in my opinion, a little better than the original Cool Water. It's a clone of Green Irish Tweed and it borrows that type of DNA. But with this one, you get that Cool Water DNA swirled in with a little bit of peppermint. I'm a happy guy. So I get aquatics, freshness, blue fragrance, mixed with mint, bam, I'm happy. And I'm a sucker for presentation. When I saw that it came like this, I was like, as a collector, I really don't need the 200 ml bottle of cologne. But as a collector, why the hell not? Next up, Perry Ellis Perron. This one is a dumb reach for me. It's got that Blue de Chanel DNA and vibe. Kind of that shower gel freshness. It's dope. This one lasts on me. It's a dead ringer for Blue de Chanel. It's much cheaper in price, but not so much quality. Cannot tell. I got roughly half of this left. I spray the hell out of this one too. It can do no wrong to me. I This one actually made my heavy hitters fragrance list. It performs like a motherfucker on my skin. I actually don't have to have Blue de Chanel in my collection since I have this one. And I enjoy the House of Perry Ellis anyway. I also like this Fakona bottle. I think this is metal, if I'm not mistaken. Wrapped around glass. I, that's just, I dig that. Next up, Pepe Jeans London. Love this bottle. Kind of reminds you of a Hugo Boss fragrance and also kind of has the studs like Valentino. Love the fragrance. This one's a new one to my collection I've not reviewed yet, but I wanted to just give you guys a little preview of it. Sun's out, gun's out. Let me stop fucking around. First impressions of this one, it kind of reminds me of Versace Eros. It's a lighter, bluer Versace Aero. So mix the typical sweetness that you get with Versace Aero, that apple mint vibe, and mix it with a little bit of aquatic flow. It's got some vanilla in it too. Think of Paco Rabanne's Invictus, Versace Eros. They had a little rendezvous. Nine months later, they popped up with a baby named Pepe Jeans, London. Some sweetness of the vanilla, mixed with that DNA from the aquatic DNA from Invictus and the mint slash apple vibe from Eros. Dope. I enjoy it. Last but not least, Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultra Mall. This one needs no introduction. It's the blue sweet beast. Bubblegum sweet. It's aquatic, but it is very sweet. I enjoy this one. A lot of people are saying this is unisex. I can see a woman pulling this off, but for me, I don't care who this is for. I don't care if individuals say, oh, you should only wear that in the time. You should only wear it to the club. You should only wear it at night. You should only wear it to spray. I don't give a damn about none of that. I wear this most times in the heat and it smells amazing on my skin. So that's gonna wrap it up for the Bringing Out the Blues Fragrance Challenge. Drop me a comment below. What are some of your favorite blue fragrances? Also, drop me a comment below. Let me know if you've tried any of these. Tell me which one's your favorite. You can also drop me a comment to suggest another blue fragrance that I should buy or give a try. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. And I want to thank you guys. We're almost to the thousand subs. You guys have been keeping me busy with various challenges and keeping me engaged. And I really appreciate that as well as the comment, the love, the likes, the sharing. It's no reason for me to even be here. So again, I thank you all for all your love and support. Share this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Like we got up here, like, comment, subscribe. And I wanna keep growing this channel and I wanna keep bringing you guys fresh and dope content. So let's grow. Let's grow along to get along. It's been your man Uncommon Sense. I'm out.
to next time.